Welcome to Beyond Mineral Nivoli. We're going to get 229 started up here, and while we go through our starter procedures, let's take a look for the west and follow some other red attacks already set in motion. Now that we're on our way, let's get a quick rundown of the situation. Over the past week, there had been battles all around the sector surrounding Mineral Nivoldi. Today's tasking has us searching Blue Sector 21 for enemy ground units. Recon at the moment is unavailable, so we're going to have to roll up through the sector and seek out targets of opportunity. Our routing will have us depart northwest through some urban cover, then west towards a known red camp for potential AA cover as we cross over into the Blue Sector. From there we'll head north to strong targets until returning to a forward farm to land and shut down. As we continue our transit to the front, let's take a look at some MiGs in action doing what they can to hold the line. It's not only Red MiGs fending back attackers at the moment, the Blue Cap is now arriving in a wave to the front.
Seeking cover from the enemy fighters, some Hueys opt to land and wait out the danger, with mixed results. to the Red Ford camp and as we navigate to a village just east of it, we pass by a blue Caesar case. I make note of it for now so we can grab it on the way home if possible.
Both the gazelle and I unwittingly evade each other. It opts to return home as I press forward with my mission. Elsewhere, two Hueys search for targets, but unexpectedly become one in the process. Now alone, the Hiwi Ops is set down near the camp for a troop assault, but the slope proves to be tricky, and the tail rotor is completely lost during the landing. Out west, we're proceeding on task at full speed. The rolling terrain and tree lines make it difficult to spot unknown camps, but it is necessary we remain fast and low to avoid enemy aircraft. This trade-off hinders our ability to see ahead and avoid danger.
in the end we suffered a loss of the left engine. We had two fires that were put out and I was able to fly on the right engine to get some troops down. We at least took out the camp responsible for all this damage. We tried to limp home to a nearby FARP on one engine but as I was checking all my temperatures and pressures we lost our tail rotor and crashed. The track didn't quite reflect this but the end result was the same. Anyways, if you see yourself in these videos, please let me know below. I love hearing the story from your perspective, and I'm sure the others watching this do too. Before we go, I've got to ask who here flies jets and who here flies helicopters. I'm curious if the jet flyers are watching the helicopter-based content. As always, thank you all for watching. If you love the documentary-style videos, please like and subscribe to keep them going. Bye!